Hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday. I just got out of the shower a little bit ago, so I wanted to go ahead and get my intro and outro film for my TJ Maxx video since I have everything edited. I edited super early this morning. I'm really excited about this video because I feel like we found some really good stuff this week. In the past weeks have been so just like slow and not a whole lot of new stuff in, but yeah, it seems like they are at least starting to pick up a little bit and this week was a really good week for me. We found some brand new stuff that I don't think we've seen on anyone's channel yet, so I'm really excited. If you guys are new to this series, I do this every single Sunday where I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and look for new beauty products including makeup, skincare, and I've started to look at the nail polish section a little bit as well. But yeah, it's super fun to see what we're finding and you guys can go ahead and look for these items at your stores too since usually when I get mine, most of the stores usually tend to get around the same products each week and I got some stuff that should be trickling in the stores in the next week or so. so anyways, if you guys wanna see what I found, keep on watching. Oh, found a new shade in the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. We've seen some repeats here and there, but I have not seen it this shade yet. It is a dark kind of almost vampy berry plum shade in the shade Blackmail, which is a comfort matte formula. This one is going for $4.99 which I feel like they might have lowered the prices on these. I don't remember if they've always been $4.99 or for some reason I thought they were like $7, but $4.99 is pretty good for this. And I'm super excited to see that we have a new shade here. I'm curious to see if we'll see some more things pop up from Urban Decay. Here's another new Vice Liquid Lipstick from Urban Decay in the shade WSM, a comfort matte formula for $4.99. And this is the color. It's kind of a really pretty orchid pink. And then this one is Firebird, which looks like a really bright hot pink. Let's see. Ooh, so this one's actually, it almost looks shimmery, but it says it's a comfort matte, but it's kind of like a purpley pink. So that's really cool too. We've seen a lot of new shades popping up in these this week. And then probably the most exciting find so far this week is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I've never seen IT Cosmetics here before, so this is super exciting to me. This is the only one I found in the only shade. This is in the shade Light to Ultra Fair. And this is a really good concealer. It's very, very um, full coverage. You only need like a little dot and you can cover pretty much anything. So I like to use this on blemishes, um, not so much on my under eyes even though it is for that. But I know a lot of people love this stuff. It is here at TJ Maxx for $9.99 which is pretty good for this concealer. I feel like it's like $30 normally. So really excited to see IT Cosmetics here and I'm curious to see if we'll see more stuff from them because that would be amazing. I love their products. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just found another IT Cosmetics item. This is so cool. So we have the Confidence in a Compact. I actually used to love this, so I might actually pick one up. I think I, they only have Fair right now, so I might wait and see if they get the shade light or like medium and then maybe try that. But I used to really love this stuff and I don't know if they discontinued it or if they still make it, but it is really cool. It's nice for like touching up since it is like a cream foundation. Like midday, you can just like easily touch up with this stuff and it's really awesome. So this is from my cosmetics again, so cool. In the shade Fair, it has SPF 50 in it, which is insane. It also has anti-aging ingredients. And it looks like this one is going for $19.99, which is a pretty fair price. I would say that's about half off. Of course, I'd love to see it cheaper, but I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for another shade in this and hope we see more. So far, we've just seen Fair in the concealer and in the foundation but such an exciting find. I've definitely mentioned this set in the past, but I've seen it at pretty much all my stores lately, so I wanted to mention it again. It's the Gold Standard three-piece collection from Laura Geller. This is a really good set because it has a um, Gilded Honey highlighter, this really pretty illuminating body mist, and then you also get a gloss, which is also in Gilded Honey like lip top coat, and this whole set is $9.99, so it's a really good deal from Laura Geller. Notice these fun sets from W7 as well, that has a bunch of lashes. I'm not sure how I feel about these styles. They're a little different, especially this one here. It has like a weird space in the middle of it. But this is the Lash Heaven set and it looks like you get an eyeliner pencil, eyelash glue, and then um, a lash curler and then four false lashes going for $5.99. Also at one of my stores they now have these cameras in the makeup aisle and in the skincare which is odd. You can literally see yourself just for people to not steal and stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys that because it looks like they're really cracking down. 
which is good. Yeah, they're really like amping up the skincare and makeup aisle, I've noticed. Um, seems like there's gonna be good things ahead. Okay, so we do have a new color in the it Cosmetics Confidence in the Compact. This one is light, which I think I'll go ahead and get this one. I'm, not, I'm gonna have to double check how many shades are in this range. But I think the light one will work for me for most days or like a light medium. But so far I've only seen fair and then there's three of these light shades today which once again this is $19.99. I think I will go ahead and get this. I know $20 is a little much but I feel like this is usually like $40 or so so I think that's pretty worth it. And then I did find another shade in the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye full coverage concealer this one is in medium tan and it is going for $9.99 and then this is a really exciting find from Smashbox. This is the Spotlight Palette in Pearl. We've seen the gold one like all the time a couple months ago. There were so many of it and we never saw this pearl one yet, which is the one I actually own and it's really good. So this I would definitely recommend. It's more for light to medium skin tones. It has turn it on pearl, crank it up pearl, and then blow a fuse pearl. Um, this one's going for $12.99, which is a really good price definitely recommend like I said I own this and love it so this is the gold one that I was talking about that we used to see so this was the Casey Holmes edition she also made that pearl one too but for some reason the other one didn't have her packaging so this one is $12.99 for the gold version which has the same shades just with gold in the name so you get the idea so many different NARS items it's always hard to figure out like what I've talked about before and what I haven't but I'm pretty sure these are newer. These are the Velvet Lip Liners. These are going for $7.99. I found two shades. Lanikai and then Madano Beach. So this one is Madano Beach. I like to show you guys the caps because that is what the color is going to look like. It looks like a nice like almost brick red. Like a deeper kind of orangey red. Really pretty. And this one is Lanikai which is very similar. A little bit darker red. And then I found two of these items from NARS. One is a lip gloss, and then this one had cool packaging. It says lip cover, so I think that's a gloss as well. So this gloss here, this is a really pretty pink called Istria. I really like this color. It is stunning. It is going for $7.99. And this is the lip cover, which had the really cool packaging on it. I'm not sure what collection this is a part of, but um, this is also going for $7.99 in the shade Do Not Disturb. It looks like just a gloss. Let's see the color so this one actually has different kind of packaging so obviously I don't want to open this because it looks like it's maybe some sort of lip gloss but um, I can't tell for sure it looks like it is like a reddish orange shade so this is do not disturb here they have a fun real techniques brush set this one's called the prep color correcting set which is kind of cool it has the different colored handles for all the corrections so it looks like the same brush though which is kind of odd, but I guess if you're gonna be using them all at once, then that works for you. <laughs> so this is the orange one, Concealed Darkness. You have the pink for brightening dark circles, um, purple for canceling sallowness, and then the red for neutralizing, wow, green, sorry. Green for neutralizing redness. This one is going for $5.99 for the set. I also have some new e.l.f. brush sets. These are actually really big sets. They have some pretty good brushes, to be honest. This is the Ultimate Face Brush Roll. You get 19 brushes in here, and you also get the brush roll to store them in, which is nice. So that is a lot. It has all of them listed. You have pretty much everything you need. This would be great for a beginner, and it's $24.99 for this set, which might seem like a lot for e.l.f., but since you're getting so many brushes, that's a really good deal. And they also have this brush set, which has 11 pieces in it, which looks like a couple things for face and eyes. The 11 piece silver brush collection and a brush bag. So here's all the brushes that you get in this one, and this one is going for $14.99. So some fun e.l.f. brush sets here. They had their stocking cart out with a few products in it, so we have a new shade in the Buxom Wildly Whipped Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Dominatrix, which is a deeper red, perfect for fall. So this is going for $5.99, and I told you guys I love this formula. But then we have something new that I haven't seen yet. This is the Buxom Shimmer Shock Lipstick. I only see one shade so far. Hopefully we get some more in, but yeah, I've never seen these or heard of them. This one looks nice though. It's in the shade Pyro. Possibly like a glittery pink maybe. I don't know. I'm not like a huge fan of metallics, but I'm definitely wanting to check this out. It is going for $5.99. 
And then we also have a Clinique lipstick. This is the Dramatically Different Lipstick in the shade Intimately. This one is going for $5.99. And we have a new Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Serious, which looks like maybe it's a matte, almost black brown. This is going for $6.99. I feel like this would be a good color for like the outer corner to do a fun like smoky look. I also have this from Estee Lauder. It's called the Perfectionist Set and Highlight Powder Duo, which I think I've seen this one before, but it's been a while. This one is in 03 Medium, going for $19.99. And then someone was asking me the other day on one of my videos if I ever see Kate Somerville and I just saw this. This is brand new. This is the Detox Daily Cleanser from them and it is really great for acne. I feel like I've heard really good things about this one. I actually kind of wanted to pick this up for myself because I've been having some really bad breakouts lately and it's only $12.99 which is a really good price. We have this here from e.l.f. This product used to be super popular. It is the Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer in the shade Bronze Peach. These are really pretty. It's kind of a dupe for the NARS like Orgasm and Laguna, but it's cream form. And I've heard really good things about this. We have actually both the shades here. So these are $2.99. So that's the peach one. And then we also have the Bronze Pink Beige, which I feel like I would most likely go for this. But yeah, it's such a good price for these. I feel like they used to be like $7 um, on Ulta. We also have a Filter First Luminous Concealer from Laura Geller going for $4.99 in the shade Fair. So to go kind of with their Filter First foundation. Oh my gosh, you guys, we have some new Stila glitters. I think these are like the Duochrome collection, which is fairly new. So this is very, very exciting for me. So we have Little White Lies and then Mystere. Well, I guess they're different collections. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to buy them and check them out. But we have Psychic and then Mint Myth. Oh my gosh, so exciting to see these here. I haven't seen new shades in so long. I buy pretty much all of my collection at TJ Maxx. They're such a good deal because they're only $8.99, which I feel like they actually used to be cheaper than that, like $6.99. But they might have raised the prices a little bit, but it's still a really good price. Oh my gosh, here's the Steel of Glitter in Psychic. So I think it has like that pearly background, but it flashes with the, it looks like a blue and pink duochrome finish. I'm so, so shocked to see these here right now. These are fairly new. And then I'll show you guys the other one. And then here's Mint Myth, which you can see kind of has a mint background. I'm going to look up swatches of these and see if I want both or if I just want to get one of them. All right, I found two more Stila shades. I had to dig around in these containers to find them, so there could be more in there, but I think I'm just going to show you guys these for now because I kind of digged a little bit and I didn't really see too much. There's like so many different products in there. It's kind of hard. We have two more different shades in the Little White Lies collection, which I think I figured out is like the white base with different colors um, as the background. So we have pink, wink, wink, and then yellow tails. Here's what they look like out of the packaging. Um, as you can see, they're all very similar like in the box, but I feel like once you put it on the eyes, they'll definitely change color. So we have the yellow base one, which is really pretty. It almost has a slight gold tint to it. And then the pink one too. So I don't know, I'm kind of loving these. I think I might pick both of them up. I've been kind of grabbing all the shades as I find them because they just look so pretty and I love these. So I cannot resist. I'm so excited. It seems like the stores are finally picking up again and I'm finally finding some new exciting things. So let me know if you guys are as well because I love to see you guys also finding good stuff, of course. But yeah, this week has been really good for me since the past last three weeks have been like crap here. We also have a new Big Gelato Swirl Illuminated from Laura Geller in the shade Peach Glow. These are only $4.99, which is a really good price. And I've noticed a few more Laura Geller items popping up here and there in the stores this week. So this is the gorgeous Laura Geller Peach Glow Highlight. Very, very gorgeous. It does have that slight peachy undertone, which I think would be really pretty for a medium to deeper skin tone. Okay, this is so cute. They have a few of these from L'Oreal. It's called Here's to Love. That's Infallible 8 Hour Pro Gloss. And it comes in this super cute, like, cardboard, which has a little heart on it. It reminds me of, like, a little Valentine's Day card. It's a bright red shade. That's the only one I see it so far. I wish it looked like this one on the back, because that one's really pretty, but this looks a lot darker. This is only $2.99 for this, which is a really good deal. It's super cute. Here's the other ones. I think it's all the same shade. Yeah, it's all the shade, what is it called? Red Fatale. 
Here's a little lip balm from Dr. Jart. This is the Lip Air Ceramide Lip Care for Dry and Chapped Lips. I feel like, like this would be really good since it's like a skincare brand. I feel like this would be really good for the lips. So this is going for $5.99 for this lip balm. It's in the mint scent and it's supposed to have moisturizing oils to create a protective barrier that shields lips from dryness while hydrating. So that sounds amazing. So looking at nail polish again, I'm surprised that TJ Maxx sells shellac here, which is really cool. So they actually sell the legit shellac colors. Of course, they don't have like top coat and base coat and the light, obviously, which you need. But they do have the colors here if you guys do have a lamp. This is the shade Wild Moss going for only $2.99. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's, that's such a good deal. You don't even know. And then this one's really pretty. This is called Sparks Fly for $2.99 as well. And then they have this cute little OPI neon collection, which little minis. I love the minis because it takes me a while to go through nail polish since I have a lot. But this has Orange You Rockstar, VI Pink Passes, Dance Party Teal Dawn, and then Positive Vibes Only. Super cute little set for $5.99. This looks like a new new me wand here i do love new me hair irons i have one and i absolutely love it I use it all the time and it creates my perfect curls this is the scarlet 32 millimeter wand in this beautiful red color going for only 24.99 which is a steal i think i paid like 79 for mine on ulta so definitely check your local tj maxx for new me hair care because they make really good quality this has this little smash box it looks like a tube lip gloss it's called the oak gloss intuitive lip gloss so uh, this is really cool it kind of changes to the perfect pink that kind of matches with your lips which is fun this is going for $9.99 okay guys I am so excited about this I know people used to find Sigma brushes all the time but I've never found them at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls this is the first one I've ever found here so this is the F84 angled kabuki and it says that it's good for like cream products like cream blush and bronzer which it seems really nice and I don't really have like a cream product brush so I'm very interested in trying this out it's $12.99 here which I will have to look up the regular prices I'm not sure if that's like a good deal because I think I already get like 40% off um, with my discount so I don't know this is really cool to see this Sigma is my favorite brush brand and maybe they're starting to bring back more of these here they also have some more Eyelor lashes we found a bunch of these at TJ Maxx the other day it is so loud in here okay let me go over here <laughs> So this is the Lux Silk Radiant Silk Effect Lashes. These are really pretty. I kind of want to get them for myself because they look so nice. It looks like the perfect list like glam lashes. And these are only, let's see, $3.99 here at Marshalls, which is pretty good. I feel like you could definitely reuse this pair. It does say reusable, so you could probably get a good amount of uses out of it. They look high quality, so that is exciting. I might pick these up. I noticed they also restocked a couple of these Buxom lip creams. This one is in the shade Mai Tai, which we've seen before, but it's been a while since we've seen it. Um, so maybe they'll bring in some more. So this one is in, let's see, this one's going for $5.99. It is more of like an orangey, peachy shade. It's really pretty. And then I also wanted to point this out. This is by the brand Nia, which is actually by Strivectin. And what's really interesting about this um, when they came out, I got like their whole range. They sent me a PR package. It was like one of my first like full collections in a PR package and I was like super excited about it, but I'm not sure if this brand just didn't go over well. It was supposed to be targeted towards like, um, I feel like 20 year olds in that range. Um, cause it's supposed to be good for like environmental damage and like cell phone damage. I don't know if you guys can see here. Um, it says fights the lifestyle stressors to give you healthy looking glowing skin i'm not sure if they still exist but yeah it is owned by strivecta but this is the glow on demand energizing illuminator from them going for only 9.99 it was a really cool concept but i feel like it just didn't go over well so i think we'll start seeing more of their products here another item from Neo, which I totally forgot. It stands for Not Into Aging. This is their startup kit. I feel like the products are actually really decent, so I would check them out if you guys see them at your stores. I just don't think it was as popular as they intended. So this one looks like little travel sizes. You get a fully charged serum, a moisturizer, a wash and glow hydrating cleansing foam, and a triple action eye gel in here going for $6.99. Really good prices on the Nia skincare. 
Here's another Vice liquid lipstick I have not seen yet. This one's in the shade Studded, a metalized finish. So this one's going for uh, $4.99. This is the color. It's like kind of a bronzy, almost gray. It's really cool. And then I found three different Smashbox Be Legendary lipsticks in some different shades. It looks like they might be restocking some Smashbox stuff. So we have Safe Word, Mandarin, and then First Time. These are $7.99 each. Marshalls also has a bunch of the Buxom Bold Gel Lipstick in Sinful Cinnamon. I see like four of them here, so they must have just restocked this shade. I really do like these lipsticks. They are a really nice formula, and this color is awesome. And these are $5.99. We also have this. This is a Buxom Full On Lip Cream. It has a little diamond on top in the shade Gin Fizz. This must be like a limited edition one. This one is going for $5.99. Yeah, the packaging even has a little diamond on top too. So cute. All right, I found a couple more Buxom lip products here at Marshalls. They have one of the Shimmer Shock lipsticks. We found one the other day at TG Maxx. This one is in the shade Uncontrollable, going for $5.99. And then they're also restocking another shade in the Big and Sexy Bold Gel Lipstick, and it is in White Russian, which I love this one. This one's also $5.99. All right guys, here's an exciting skincare find. We have some new Glam Glow, which is really exciting because my store like never gets the good Glam Glow stuff that I see other people have. But we got the Water Burst Hydrated Glow Moisturizer. Uh, I, I feel like I haven't even heard of this product and it can't be that old. Maybe it is, I don't know. This is Quench Plump Replenish. This is going for $34.99. I'll have to look into this product and see if it's worth getting or how much it retails for and I would possibly pick it up I don't know I do like glam glow products so we'll see but I'm so excited to find this here finally seeing some cool glam glow stuff at my store so I looked it up it had really good reviews but the deal is just not as good unfortunately I wish they would mark their glam glow stuff a little bit cheaper at least half off because I think it retails for 52 so it's not even 50% off so store has a bunch of different Pacifica skincare here. We have the Sea Rescue Replenishing Water Gel. Let me know down below if you guys like their skincare. I haven't tried a ton from them and I'm not sure how I feel about it. This is going for $4.99 and it's good for hydrating and tightening the skin and it's oil free. They also have this um, Deep Detox Mask and it says fights shininess and clogged pores plus helps tighten. This is going for $6.99. We have so much, you guys. And then this, oh, this is from the Cherry Collection. This is the Cherry Lava Purifying Charcoal Mask, which sounds amazing. It's supposed to get all the damaging grime, dirty pores, blackheads, and other nasties you wish you could knock out. Um, only $5.99 for this. Here's more from the Nia line. We're seeing more of this come out. This is the tri triple action eye gel called Fake Awake. And this is going for $9.99 for the eye gel. So I found another Dr. Jart item. This is the Ceramide and says cream going for $19.99. And this is what it looks like. So we found this Ceramide and I think it was the liquid the other day. So now they have the cream too. And I know this... Um, product is super popular and has amazing reviews so I love being able to find it here at TJ Maxx. I don't think we've seen this yet from Dr. Jart. It's the day tint so it's called the Ceramiden day tint with SPF 15 going for $17.99. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a tinted moisturizer or what. It doesn't have a shade name though so I don't know if it's just like for everybody. And then I found this as well. I've been finding all the Dr. Jart products in the Ceramiden line. So we found this oil balm. This looks really cool. It's a transforming balm to oil product. It's for dehydrated skin. It's supposed to easily absorb into skin and moisturize without being greasy which sounds amazing. So the Ceramiden products are supposed to shield and protect to seal in hydration. Oh, and by the way, this one is only $14.99, so that's a really good price for that. I found this here from Clinique. This is their exfoliating scrub going for $17.99. I always find the Clinique like green products without the packaging or anything like that, but I've seen quite a few of those. Hey guys, welcome to my messy room today. I will be picking this up today since I have the day off, but I'm going to show you guys everything that I bought at my TJ Maxx and Marshalls this week. I actually bought quite a few things and a couple like random items too. I wanted to show you you and um, I know some people asked on my last video since I featured the Ray Dunn possibles if I could 
film like a shop with me for Ray Dunn. So I also filmed that this week, so that should be coming. Um, if you guys are interested in that, I thought it would be kind of a fun video. But anyways, let me show you guys what I bought this week. All right, so going with random items here, I actually bought this adorable mini rice cooker. I thought it was so cute, and it comes in this little pink packaging. So adorable. They also had it in white and black, but I thought the pink was just too cute. This was $14.99, and I have the worst problem cooking rice. It never comes out when I do it. It's like either overdone or not done enough every time I do it, so I thought maybe having a rice cooker would help instead of just boiling it on my stove top. So I did get one of those. I also picked up a new flat iron. I needed a new one so bad. Mine is about to crap out on me. It's a few years old, so I definitely needed a new one. So I was not sure what I wanted to get. I thought I would get one at TJ Maxx since they always have the name brands for a less price. Most flat irons, like good ones, run like $100. So they had this Lange one, which I feel like is a really good brand. I've seen their curling irons and their flat irons before, and I know that they have like good quality, and they're like really expensive too. It's like a hundred dollar flat iron, and I got it for twenty four ninety nine. So this is just the Appleter straightener in black. So I picked that up because I really needed a new one. And then this is super random, but I actually bought this. Um, syrup for my coffee. I want to start making some lower calorie coffee drinks because I get coffee every single morning and I'm sure it has like tons of calories and sugar in it. So I want to kind of make my own at home. So let me know if you have any tips for like really good tasting coffee Um, because I, I don't like just black coffee. So I did buy this caramel pecan syrup and it is by Skinny Syrups. It has zero calories and zero sugar. And the coffee that I always get at this, um, it's just like a little hometown small coffee shop in my area. Um, it's like a caramel pecan iced latte basically. And so I thought I could try to make my own version with less calories. So that's my goal. So I picked that up and hopefully it tastes good. It was $3.99. They had quite a few of those zero calorie syrups there. On to actual beauty products. I picked up the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Compact. You guys know I was talking about how I used to love this stuff. So I got it in the shade Light for $19.99. I wanted to have that in my life again. And then I also ended up getting this NARS lip gloss <laughs> because I wanted to have one in my collection. I thought the shade was really pretty. I want to find the shade Turkish Delight, but I don't think we'll see it there. So I did go ahead and grab this one in the shade Istria, which looks like this. It's a really pretty pink. It's not too pigmented. It has a very light pigmentation, so it goes on really nice just as a topper, or you could wear it by itself. I also grabbed one of the Buxom Shimmer Shock lipsticks, which I wanted to try this formula. So I grabbed the shade Pyro, and what's weird about these, you guys will have to let me know if you have them. I feel like they have a weird smell to them. Like, I was kind of hoping that this one didn't go bad, because it smells a little odd, but I have been wearing it, and I do like the color of it. This is what it looks like. It doesn't have too much shimmer in it, which I like. And it looks like a really pretty, like, purpley pink color. But, yeah, I'm really hoping this isn't, like, expired. So, let me know if you have these and they have a weird smell to them. Because I'm used to Buxom products smelling, like, really sweet and delicious. And then, lastly, I picked up four of the Stila Glitter and Glows that we found. We found some from the White Lies collection and the Mystere collection. So, we are seeing some new shades which is very exciting so let me swatch all of these for you so the white lights collection is basically a white base with like kind of a duochrome color with it so this one is the yellow tails and it has a lot of really pretty gold to it so it's like white with the gold background. I also got the shade pink wink wink from the little white lights collection as well and this one's really pretty. As you can see, they look very similar in the tube. I also got the shade Mint Myth right here, which is swatched here on my hand. And then the last one is Psychic from the Mystere collection, which kind of looks like the same collection. I don't know, but I guess it's different. So I got four of those. I'll definitely be picking up more shades if I can find them. So that's going to be it for my video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll include my playlist down below with my other TJ Maxx videos. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.